Hey guys, welcome to Dan's uh, Adventures. Um, got another, uh, well, I think, a, well, I don't know, it might be a short video, I don't really know. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to be looking at the I, my Dell R710 and the iDRAC 6. Um, this is a um, server right here, and it came with the iDRAC 6 Express. Um, and I'm looking to upgrade to the iDRAC 6 Enterprise. And so the uh, for the Express, there's really nothing in there. Um, it just uses kind of the main board. And then for the Enterprise, you had to buy this little chip right here. Let's do some close-ups. So this is what you had to purchase. There's really not a whole lot to it. It's pretty small, pretty simple. So this is the iDRAC 6 Enterprise. And um, it only costs $8.50. Um, but I think it will make... Um, the, the server sits here in the basement, and I sit in my living room a lot watching TV, uh, kind of messing around with it. And so my understanding is I'll be able to sit in the living room and see what would be on the screen down here that is connected to the to the computer. So make make it a little bit easier for me to sit somewhere else and kind of play around with it and mess with things. Um, so if there's an air that comes up when it's booting or that kind of thing, I can I can see that elsewhere. And so so I have messed around a little bit with the iDRAC 6 Express like it is now. Um, it's, it's pretty neat. Uh, my understanding is, I guess the easiest way to explain it is, it's almost like a small computer. It's almost like a really small computer inside of this one that is always on. Um, so right now, the, the, this server is off. Um, it is not on. But I could go to another computer in the house and log into the iDRAC 6 system and see um, you know, the temperatures, the fan speeds, um, the, the health of some of the batteries and some of those components, I can turn it on through the iDRAC 6, I can turn it off. Um, so again, the computer's not on, um, but it's, it's plugged in and the network cable's plugged in. Um, but you can still log into it and see those things from sitting at another computer in the house. Um, so it's almost like a real small computer that lets you look at those, those systems. Um, but I think there'll be some, some advantages to the enterprise that, that I will like. So anyway, let me show you, I'm going to log in my laptop right now. And kind of show you what it looks like now um, with the express with the express system plugged in in there. So let me switch over my laptop real quick. Hang on. Okay, so now we're on my laptop, and so we're going to go into my browser, and we're going to go to the iDRAC 6. Now I have a bookmark up here. Um, now you can see it's got the, um, the IP address, and I'll show you how to get that in kind of one of the later steps. Um, so I'm kind of jumping ahead here, but anyway, so here is when you first uh, punch in the IP address, you'll be brought to this. So plug in your username, uh, password, and then click submit. Um, so we're logging into it now. And so remember the computer, the server is actually off, uh, but this is still accessible. And so it takes a minute to kind of do some readings here. Um, it won't give you all the information because, of course, it's off. So right here you can see power state. Um, off. Um, you can see some of the information about it, the service tag, device versions, firmware versions, IP address of the iDRAC, um, any warnings or anything down here. Um, you can see um, it's also some of this won't show up over here. Uh, yes, you can't get some of that information about batteries, probably not the fans either. Uh, the power supply shows you kind of what they are. Um, two power supplies, the, the wattages that they're rated to, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, so it, it shows that basic information. Um, it does allow you to, if I were to click this right here, it would turn on the server. Um, the server's on, I click this, it would turn it off. Um, so it's a really neat kind of system. One of the big things that I want to, one of the reasons I want to upgrade to the iDRAC 6 Enterprise is, my understanding is this window right here will show whatever is on the monitor attached to the server. Um, so right now, if I'm messing around with it and I want to go into BIOS, I have to come down to my basement, which is cold and dark, um, and, and kind of look at it there. My understanding is when I have that, the Enterprise, I, this right here will show whatever is on the screen. So I can sit, you know, watching TV um, on my laptop here and kind of mess around with the BIOS and some of those other settings. Um, so again, I could be wrong with that, but that's kind of what I'm expecting. Uh, but anyway, we'll see. So this is what I got, and so right now I'm going to change it out with the uh, Enterprise version and uh, see what uh, see what changes. So I'm going to log off the screen here, and then uh, we will install the card together. All right, so let's get to uh, changing out that part. So it's uh, I've powered down the system, so it is off. Um, the first thing we need to do is unplug the power supplies. Yes, there are two. You got to unplug both. Then we're going to come up here to the power button, 
I'm going to push and hold that down for about 10 seconds. Um, if there's any residual power on the, the main board, you want to re relieve that so that it doesn't, you know, lessens the chance of messing anything up. All right, and then we're going to take the cover off. All right, and so right back here, so this is the this is the front of the server. So the back right corner, right there, is where it's going to go. So I think it just clips into those pins right there, and then I think it stands sits on these kind of little brackets right here. And then currently on the rear, there's just plastic cover piece, if I can aim right, right there that will be replaced. Um, so let's try to get that off. Might need some pliers. Yep, that just pulled right out. So we'll set that there. In case I break anything, I can always put it back on. So right there, I think, is where it goes. So here is the new one. Well, not new one. This is just the one. And then it comes with a zone network cable or connection. So I think it just goes in there like that. So this white part right here, I think, plugs in there. And yeah, this hole, this hole here and a hole there go on to these little posts. And then it kind of goes out the f back like that. So. so I'm trying to get it lined up over those little posts. And I'll probably just push it down. So I had some trouble getting uh, getting that in there and um, getting the, the pins, pushing it down. I feel like I was using a lot of force. Um, so I was getting a little nervous. So I went ahead and took out the RAID card. Um, so the way this was in there, so here is the riser one, which was slid in right here. So I took that out. Uh, and then I took out the Perk 6 uh, RAID card. Um, just kind of pushed it out of the way. So the thing I'm worried about is I want to make sure... I might be able to see it, but right under there, the white part right there is where all these connections are made. So I might not be able to hold the camera and do this, but I'm worried about getting that lined up just right and kind of getting it together. Um, you know, I do need to remember that this server may not have ever had one, and so the pins might just be really tight. Uh, I'm just worried about the amount of force I was using to push it down. It just seemed, seemed like a lot. So hopefully you guys don't watch me break this thing. That's a definite possibility though. And it looks like the right card. I think I got it. <clears throat> I either got it or I just broke a bunch of stuff. We'll, we'll know more in a minute. So alright, so I got it in, I think I got it in there. Um, so here it is, so it's all mounted in there. See these little posts went up through the holes there. Uh, these little blue guys kind of clip down onto it to hold it in place. It's sturdy, so I think it's in there well. So now I've got an additional network cable here on the back uh, port for a network cable. Um, so this one is dedicated to the iDRAC 6, so I'll, so I'll need to plug that in in order to access it. Um, so now I've got to put back um, the RAID controller and this other riser card here. Um, so let me do that, and then I'll show you uh, when I'm done. All right, so I think I got it all back together. So we've got the iDRAC 6 Enterprise. My RAID card's back in there. The riser card's back in there. Now on the back here, I'm going to unplug all the network cables, um, except one. So I'm going to plug it into the iDRAC 6. Um, and then I'm going to fire everything back up and uh, see if it works. So let's put it back together. All right, so the cover's back on, so now I'm going to plug in the power and uh, start it up, and then uh, we'll look at the screen um, for the monitor that's connected to connected to this first. 
because um, we will need to go in there and maybe change a couple things. So hang on just a sec. So again, control E to go into the iDrex 6 settings. Now we're gonna, first thing we're gonna do is restore everything to default because we have no idea who had this before and what they did uh, to it. So we're gonna restore to default. It's gonna go through its little process here. Press any key, so there we go. So everything's been reset. So let's kind of run through um, some of the options here to kind of see what we've got. Uh, see if I want to change anything. Uh, so here's where you can change the the NIC. Um, so the the Adrex 7, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the R710 comes with four NICs in the back. Um, so if you don't have the Adrex um, Enterprise, then you would plug. Um, it would utilize those four. It was to share. Uh, the Adrex 6 would share. Uh, the net those NIC card those NIC ports, uh, but when you have the inter, uh, the enterprise version, it has its own network cable, um, and so its own place to plug it in. So I want it to be on dedicated because I only wanted to use that one uh, dedicated NIC that is attached to the Adrax Six. In all honesty, I don't know what half this crap means, but uh, <laughs> so a lot of it we're just gonna leave uh, leave like it is. Let's um, let's set an IP for it. All right, so I've set up uh, the IP address uh, for the iDRAC and then the subnet mask and the default gateway, which is the router IP. So those are plugged in there. So hopefully that is everything. And this right here is where you can change what you want to be on the front of the, uh, the LCD screen on the front of the server. Um, so I like having the IP, uh, the IP address on there. I think that's convenient to be able to look at and know what to, uh, um, what's going on. Oh, and here's where I need to set the password to be able to log into it. So here's the user account root. Um, and then I need to uh, type in a password. Okay. And we'll save and exit. So now the system will reboot and um, it will jump back, actually it continues turning on. Um, so again, this right here is an error that has to do with my memory configuration, so just ignore that. Uh, if everything is set up properly, you would not see that. Um, and I know what the issue is, I'm just again too lazy to fix it right now. Alright, so now we're into Windows. Um, so it's up and running. Now you notice it is not connected to the internet. Um, and the reason is uh, there's NIC cards, there's NIC uh, ports. So this has four built into the back. The, none of those are plugged in. I've only got the iDRAC 6 um, plugged in. And so that's why it's not able to connect to anything on the internet. Uh, but that's, you know, I'm not worried about that right now. Um, so now I'm going to jump over to my laptop and take a look at uh, logging in remotely into um, the iDRAC. Okay, so now we're on my laptop, so let's see if we can log into the iDRAC. So, the IP I did is 192.168.1.20.
Alright, cool. So now we get to type in our username and password that we set up a few minutes ago. into it so here is the, um, the interface that we get um, as you can see over here it kind of gives the basic health of the system uh, right now the server is running so it is able to kind of get all this information uh, down here power state on uh, so it's telling you it's on um, let's see here see if you wanted to turn the power off the server you could do it right here um, there is uh, so right here is what I see on the screen to my right right now the server is uh, running um, so you can see that what is on the screen right there and I think if you press that it'll pop up a bigger window that'll show the, the monitor what would be on the monitor if it was hooked up so basically this is just bigger um, but as you can see the uh, the rack is still running um, it'll probably lose some of this information here because uh, those aren't you know, operational uh, but one thing I do need to show you is um, we installed new uh, hardware and so you've always got to install um, updates for that. So you always got to update the firmware. So that we go to click on iDRAC settings and then update. And that takes us to this screen right here. So now I need to go online and get the file, download the file that I would use to upload. Um, so let's do that. Okay, so now we need to download um, the software to update it. Um, so let's just step up a new browser here and let's do Dell R710 driver. Uh, do that kind of support, sure, why not? And here we go, here they are. So we want um, iDRAC. So it's going to come up here, and so so here's the latest, um, yeah, here's the latest, so 2.92 is the latest version. Let's see what I have. I did install before I uh, swapped out the, um, the Enterprise version of the iDRAC card. So let's see. So back on the current server, I have 2.92. So I've got the latest uh, version. Um, if you do not have the latest version, now would be the time to do it. Um, basically, you would just go here, and click download. It would download it to download it to somewhere on your on your the computer you're using right now, not to the server itself. Uh, just download it to wherever you're using to access it. And then you would go back to the iDRAC controller, click update, choose file. Then you would uh, you know navigate to wherever you save that file at. And um, upload it there, and then click upload here, um, and it would it would update it. So I think that's about it. We've got uh, the iDRAC installed; it's working. Uh, we can log into it remotely. Um, so that's that's great. I consider that a success. And now we will move on to the next project for my uh, uh, Dell R710. So um, please hit up subscribe and uh, give me a like down below if you like this video. Um, and uh, thanks. I'll talk to you guys soon.